Man, this, uh, oh man, where do I begin? So let's start at the off season. So this off season for me has been one of the most stressful, but more exciting, most entertaining uh, season or middle season that I've ever been to. Obviously, uh, we won't go into, into anything that happened in 2018. We're just gonna pretend that it never happened. But uh, th this time around, I was dealing with my, you know, my, my sort of finding myself in what the new me was going to be. Making that decision was one of the most fun from, a, from an imagination standpoint. From an, from an imaginary standpoint where, you know, what would it have looked like if I teamed up with Hastro? What would, what would it have looked like if I went to this team, that team, and, and, and another? Um, you, know, you know, finding myself above anything else was gonna be a defining factor of what it was that I was gonna do. Uh, knowing full force and for a fact that, you know, Seth wasn't gonna retire and, you know, Krim wasn't gonna retire and, and, and these conversations, you know, were, were all factors into making my decision of where I was gonna go, you know, with my, with my new family, energy. Um, you know, it, it was, and we were a team. We were a solid team up until the very last day when we weren't. And uh, it was a very, a very, it was a series of very unfortunate events because uh, up until that point, we were supposed to be teaming together. Up until that point, let, I'll put it to you like this. On a Monday, we were teaming together. On a Tuesday, everything fell apart. Let me rephrase that. On a Monday, we were teaming together. On a Monday at like 10 p.m., we were no longer teaming with each other and everything had to, this massive shuffle happening. Um, so, it, you know, during this whole process, it's been insane, you know. Uh, I'm back on the swing of things. I've been traveling a lot lately. My, me and my duo, uh, Andy Miller, who's a good time you know that, that dude knows how to how to have a good time that's as far as i'll go um he doesn't like spicy food which is a problem for me but whatever whatever okay um but you know sort of putting this entire team together at the very last shot at the very last spot i, I can't even describe it it's, it's it's been all over the place so uh, I'm happy, more than happy. Uh, I'm more than happy of where I landed. I'm more than happy of where I'm at. Um, I'm excited for the future. I've been traveling a lot and that I'm not used to. I've been on the phone a lot. Matt, how long was I on the phone that one day that you walked in from, from that, like seriously? It was like eight hours from the time I walked in to the time you left. It was eight hours from the time that he walked into. I was literally on the phone for like seven hours. One of the phone calls was like four hours long. So. You know, this is, this is exactly what I used to do in the past. Uh, obviously, luckily now we have like incredible infrastructure. Uh, Brad Lautenbach, who, who, who is uh, the president, uh, is like an A++ uh, COO and president. Like the dude has all his shit together. And for me, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like that, for me, that's incredible because I get to focus on the creativity. I get to focus on predicting what the future's gonna look like. I get to focus on how to turn this this logo into a billion dollar company. There's a race going on right now. Whether people want to admit it or not, there's a race happening, right? To see who's gonna be the first esports team to have that valuation, to be the first esports team to be that valuable. I intend on winning that, right? And if anybody else isn't thinking the way that I'm thinking, then good, you don't have to be in the same race as me. I'll race myself, God damn it, if I need to. You know, at first I was super, super bummed out about Call of Duty going into the city-based model. But, you know, once I figured that it really doesn't, you know, it, it's awesome to represent your city. But, you know, Michael Jordan was known as a global figure, right? Uh, if you look at um, the Houston Rockets and you look at Yao Ming and how that whole thing happened, you know, forget all the bullshit that's happening right now. Like, I, I'm not talking politics right now. I'm talking about the, the impact that that sort of move had on, you know, on, on in, in, in China. Like, that's, that's just like, it, it just opened my eyes up. Like, the, you know, being city affiliated is only limited to you if you choose to be limited by that. But, you know, we've been building this thing for so long that it, for us, it's, it's you know, another, another day at the office. We're an inter internationally recognized global name. Okay, and we will always be that. We just have a city name attached to it now. So, you know, it's it's same people, different jersey. Say to the to the fans, to the green wall. Um, and what are your thoughts on people rooting for the team that their city yeah. has versus? We don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that. I, the green wall and I have 
a relationship like this. You know, I've never not once ever doubted that they are with us because of us and not because of a t-shirt that we're wearing. So we have nothing to discuss. My people are my people and I am their person. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, for, for, for the Huntsman specifically, uh, I, I'm excited about the team. More excited though, I'm more excited about the fact that we finally get to, where do I begin? So there was a leak that happened and, and a lot of people were like, you know, Huntsman, that's such a weird name, but it, it, it isn't, you know, uh, snipers by definition are hunters, you know, and, and, and we've always been a sniping team at core in our hearts, right? That's what got us to where we're at today. So for me to pick Huntsman wasn't even a, a question. Like I thought about this name long, long time ago. Uh, my brother, uh, you know, wanted to call it Marksman, uh, but there's so many people called Marksman and it'd be super hard to sort of trademark something like that. Anyway, so aside from uh, from the real world things, like I, I wanted to pick something super cool, but when it got leaked, it really, really messed me up because I didn't get a chance to, to explain why I was picking that. Um, you know, way, way, way back in the day uh, when, when the first Optic 7 uh, came about and we were like the first ever sniping team, we were that. Like I had a rule where you couldn't camp. Camping was not us. We, you know, it, 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 that wasn't our thing. We were all about being the hunter and not the hunted. Back in the day, I used to, in my, in my profile, in an Xbox 360 original Xbox dashboard, when you clicked on my name, it said, be the hunter, not the hunted. So this, is, this isn't something that, we just, that I just came up with out of the blue, right? This is a lifestyle that I've been living in video games or in Call of Duty since 2009 or 2006, whenever Call of Duty 4 was booming, right? I always was about that. We, were, we, were, we weren't snipers that camped. That was against our mantra. We were hunters. We were aggressive snipers. We were always on the hunt. So. Again, for me, it also goes into this whole thing where Optic or everything that we created in our culture, everything that we did as a cohort was always about doing the extra work. It would have been really easy for me to say, Nate you're a professional player, that's it. Scump, you're a professional player, that's that big timer, you play Call of Duty, don't make any videos. No, 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 no. For me, it was like, you're gonna do that, but you're gonna do the extra work. You're gonna get to know your fans. You're gonna get. You're gonna be in front of your fans so much that we're gonna we're gonna be friends. We're gonna be people that we know. We're gonna be a part of people's routines on a daily basis. We're always going to do the extra work. We're always gonna be outworking everybody else. We're always gonna be on the move, looking for something, looking for success. We're not gonna be complacent. We're not gonna sit around and wait for things to come and happen to us. Maybe. We're not gonna rely on luck. We're gonna look for it. We're gonna go search it. We're gonna go hunt it, right? We're gonna go hunt success. And that's what we've always done. We've always outworked everybody else. It would've been really easy for me to be like, you know what? My job is spreadsheets and phone calls, sponsor meetings and whatever else, and I am not gonna make videos, right? But what sort of leader would I be if I wasn't in the trenches with my people? So for me, it's a lifestyle. For me, it's a mentality. Right? I don't just sit around and wait for things to magically happen to me. You know, I don't. I always look for something better. I always look to do something cool. I'm never gonna sit around and just wait for it. So for me, the Huntsman means more than just a logo and a name. For me, it's a literal lifestyle and a way of living. Pretty much to all my people out there, right? To, to everybody that has been a supporter of what we have done and accomplished in the last 10 to 13 years of being together, I have nothing to say to you besides, I'll see you at the event, okay? Whether it's here, there, no matter where it is, we are a web of people that have just spread out across everywhere. I never, ever, ever think when I go to London that we're not gonna have the biggest crowd. I never go to Paris and think the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a, 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 an, an incredible thing that we have built together. And I think that we will always, I, I'm not gonna show up to, to you know, to uh, pick a city. I'm not gonna show up to that city and be like, oh, man, I don't like them because they're from this city and they're not from my city. You know what I'm saying? They're not, you know, they, I know who they are and they know who I am, so I'm not, that's not a factor. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna hang out with my people. If I go to London, I'm gonna have beers with my boys, right? They're, we're gonna do the, 
the chance. You know, I'm not gonna get into it right now because it's, it's a little bit offensive sometimes. You guys got out of hand and I like it. You know, because you guys are way ahead of the team. You know what I'm saying? That sort of scenario. So, uh, what do I have to say to them? Uh, I'll see you later this year. Let's get a picture together. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. The usual.